helping you with everything you need, whether you're hosting or going to a party. Now, we've all had those moments where people drop in and announce, please don't do that to me. <laughs> we love it, but what do you serve them? So we've got our experts giving us their ideas on what they have on hand to always be ready. And you're going to do a couple of things, Janice, Bahar, Randy. We're going to talk about what you have on hand, but also what you take as a great gift when you're um, going to someone else's house. So Janice, what do you always have? Well, listen, life is busy with four children, so I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. I always have on hand a charcuterie board. I have enough cheeses, crackers, nuts, uh, grapes always. This is like a Tuesday for me, so oh. also you can come yes. over and have it with me. No easy problem, no problem. And then if for a takeaway, I always keep my mason jars, and if you take the plastic, the cap on it, and put yeah. some tape and then screw it back off, it uh, back on, it acts as a grid to put your flowers in and then I just always have like leftover ribbon and this is your takeaway gift oh, so it's a little really bit recycled lovely. Yeah. easy well what's good about that is you're bringing it there in the vase and it's ready for them to just yes. put somewhere versus bringing the flowers in where they have to cut the stems and put them in the vase yeah so that's really good and if I'm going invited out I always have this is the teacher's gift to everything I have a case of red and a case of white and I yeah. make a little label because what I hate is somebody comes to my house with yes. wine and then I go to drink it I don't know whose wine I'm drinking and I want to send a little note like last night I enjoyed your wine oh, from the party beautiful. so I add a tag onto it and I'm ready to go and then you know it's Very gonna be nice. drunk anyways how about you Bahar what oh do you god. always this have on so hand so organized Very and well nice. thought out organized. oh my god <laughs> so I need baked goods and I like to give baked goods oh, that's like where it. my if I could eat sugar 24 7 I probably would so yeah. what I have I have these shortbread shortcut cookies short shortcut shortbread cookies was that right that so was right when people come over these are store-bought shortbread cookies yeah. my husband is from uh, former Yugoslavia yeah so he introduced me to rose hip jam which is a paste mm. jam so it holds form well if you want it to freeze these once you've made them into a sandwich you can nice. and then the uh, that royal icing which is basically like baking glue I have popped that on top, and then I have taken uh, crushed uh, rose petals that are actually from Iran, and wow. they have rose water in them, so I sprinkle that on, oh, and then, I know, fancy. I make it look real fancy, but it's store-bought stuff. And yeah. then I pop on this little uh, sugared rose petal that I got these, they're made in France from Amazon. So oh that's my goodness, sweet. you took Gorgeous. a trip around the world there, totally. right back to that shortbread cookie I from know. the grocery store. I know. And then what I take... Nice to someone's house yes. is actually, uh, this is a store-bought uh, sugar cookie, and yeah. I add cardamom, rose water, and pistachios, because those are very oh. Persian-oriented flavors, and I don't really like sugar cookies. I like to make it a little bit more fun. Yeah. So I've crushed the um, pistachios on top of that, nice and simple, and it makes it look like something super fancy, and it's not. Totally. <laughs> you both have an invitation Gorgeous. to my house. Please come. Bring whatever you like. Okay, Randy, what do oh, you what on. do? You, do? you hear the ding dong. Ding dong, you don't do you know do? they're coming. You do a grilled cheese, but you don't call it a grilled cheese because it's just a grilled cheese. But right. everyone loves a grilled cheese. And if you have a, a boy at home like I do, you always have the cheeses, you always have the hams. Totally. But we're going to do it on the, the fancy tazzini bread, which is kind of cool. It's crustless. So now all of a sudden it's fancy. I feel like we've got to get some tea or some shots of Jaeger <laughs> or something. Who knows, right? But what they call this no, in Spain is, is a bikini because it's really thin and paper and there's no... There's no uh, crust on it and what you're gonna do is just gonna like layer that up that looks amazing right and simple ham and cheese oh. nothing more just like that and then everyone's gonna just kind of slam that back and have a good time yes so that's what you get when you show up unexpected no roast beef for I'm you I'm going to Randy's okay yes. now what are you bringing what I bring is oh. love local look at this oh. so this is local um, steaks seafood and oh. what it is it comes oh. from oh. Click, click, and it's a nice gift because you're actually supporting the farmer. So you show up. I mean, I would cook it for you if I stay a little bit longer, yes. you know, but it is a nice kind of treat, and you leave them with a good taste in their mouth. I think this is incredible. Mm. The salmon, the scallops, this is so good. And that kind of